When we see a film, we often marvel at the job done by the actors and directors to make that perfect film. Well, what many people, obviously outside of the film industry, don't realize is that the editor was one of the most important figures in the production of the film. There's a reason film editing is often called the invisible art. The goal of most editors is to create a seamless, finished product with no trace of their tampering. To me, it, it seems almost as if each shot taken in a film is a puzzle piece and the editor is trying to make sure that they are in their rightful spots. Oftentimes, the editor may even make suggestions to the director and cinematographer for shooting and this may to help with the edit and this may this is called shooting for the edit. And here's an example of shooting for the edit in a famous TV show Friends where Chandler is taped from two different angles uh, doing the same action so that both angles can be used, and so it seem, can seem like a seamless transition. 2001 A Space Odyssey is perhaps regarded as one of the best films of all time. The editing done by Ray Lovejoy is beautiful in the sense that it is purposed to reveal the relationship between humanity and the exploration of technology, violence, and the unknown. When talking about editing, it's impossible to not speak about continuity versus discontinuity. Continuity is purpose to hammer home the idea of seamless transitions. It is supposed to promote consistency throughout the shot and give you spatial awareness. The following example here does a great job keeping the audience spatially aware. Match on action is when an actor is performing an action in a specific cut, then the director films the continuation of that action from a different angle. This is my favorite example of match on action from 2001 A Space Odyssey, considering that it was my very first scene that I've been able to notice the match on action technique without any help. Discontinuity is meant to be choppy and apparent. This technique is often used to show emphasis on some sort of change that happens during the time lapse in between shots. A classic example of this is the breakfast montage from Orson Welles' Citizen Kane. The changes in between scenes are fast and apparent, and in this particular scenario it is shown to show the, reader, show the audience how fast somebody can lose everything around them. Pay attention to the clothes that these characters are wearing and you will see that every time the screen blurs like this, it fast forwards through time. The average shot length is the amount of time in a take in between cuts in scenes. Longer shots like this may make you feel uncomfortable and you know that it is too much time because you can obviously process the image faster than it is recommending you to. However, a shorter scene like that, it almost makes you mad because you do not have any time to be able to process everything. Here's an example of a longer scene throughout uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey. The first half of this movie were filled with minute long scenes or longer like this that make the movie seem much longer than it actually is. 2001 A Space Odyssey is a beautiful piece of art that shows true talent in editing.